Dang. Oh yes, it's that red-shouldered hawk yet again. I'm gonna get closer to it. Yeah, so I'm actually in my car right now, as you can see. Alright, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get closer to it. Alright, so there's the hawk again, right there. It flew onto that tree bush right there. Which is far from my sight. And I'm not that far into the field. Just to get close to it, no way. Well, that's it for now. Alright. Alright, so I see an American Kestrel right there. I think I see the white stripes on its face there. Right in, or on the bottom of the face there. Yeah, so definitely an American Kestrel. So it's right on the top of that tree branch right there. Probably the same American Kestrel that I spent like 40 minutes recording the other day. So I'm, if I stay in this car, like it'll probably stay there. And then over there, oh yeah, there's even more. There's a red-shouldered hawk. The one that's not so afraid of me. It just needs to come into focus here. Hmm. Cooper's hawk. Although the size of it seems small. I'm thinking sharp shinned hawk on this one. By the way, I'm not even using a monopod. I'm free holding this camera. See, it's preening itself. It's always hard to hold this camera at the 83X zoom. I'm going to try to... It's trying to lay down. Oh, this ground is cold. Oh. Oh, gosh. Okay, I got my monopod out. I can see how long I can film this thing. <sighs> mercy, mercy, mercy. It's just... There we go. I seriously wish I had a tripod. I need to try to get one of my gloves on because it's starting to get cold. Where is my glove? That's well, probably inside my coat pocket. Most likely. Ah, here it is.
don't know where my glove is. Yeah, this is, I don't want to get closer. I really don't. Just. Here's my glove. I found it. I'm going to try to flip up the screen. There we go, okay. Crap. 